If you are still relying on keyword bidding strategies in 2021, that ship has sailed, or well, it's about to sail. It is pretty damn close. Now is the time to get on board with smart bidding strategies. There's something that I've been using for a few years and largely overlooking keywords entirely. So let me show you where they are. And right here, I've got this narrowed down to one of my campaigns that uses a smart bidding strategy the target cost per action bid strategy. You can see uh, in the last 30 days, it spent $2,398. So a fair bit of money, not a lot, but this is just for one metro area of a local service business here. But to get to the smart bidding strategies, you click on campaign and you're at the campaign level, then you go into settings. And once you get in here and it loads, TikTok, you'll see bidding. Right, and here is where you get into smart bidding strategies. Well, let me kind of jump back and talk a little bit about why this is important. Well, over the last few years, we have seen all of these paid advertising platforms, and by that I mean largely Google Ads and Facebook slash Instagram ads, start removing features from the user, right? There's less things that you can adjust in there, and they're kind of trying to water down the platforms, and ultimately what they're doing is funneling you into a smart bidding strategy. And this is something that we seen uh, just a couple of weeks ago when Google sent out this email here on February 4th. I did a video on it where they talk about, or not talk about, but tell you basically that they're getting rid of broad match and phrase match is becoming broad match essentially. And, and that's basically what it is. And they're eliminating or watering down your ability to narrow and target by keywords, right? In all of the paid advertising platforms, the two big ones, Google and Facebook ads, uh, are going with this trend to remove these features from you to do your targeting. So what are you supposed to do? Well, the answer lies in these smart bidding strategies here. Because fundamentally, fundamentally, once you are optimizing for the right conversion event, whether that's somebody to purchase or somebody to uh, request an estimate or lead in, opt in, fundamentally, once you have that happening and you're qualifying those people with a conditional conversion event, which I'm going to make another video talking about, I've talked about that in some of my other videos that weren't specifically on that talk. Uh, some of my other videos that weren't specifically on that topic, I've mentioned that. Uh, the conditional conversion events. I'm going to make another video and probably link to it below this. I know I say that, but I tend to forget it. Uh, so anyways, with a conditional conversion event, you ultimately get a higher quality conversion. And that's what you want to do and use smart bidding strategies. And then by doing that, you're fundamentally removing your reliance on keywords, letting Google find the right keywords for it. And then you get more conversions at a lower cost. So uh, let's just take a look at these right here. When you select them, right, you see manual CPC in there. Some of you guys might see enhanced CPC. Uh, well, there's maximized clicks. There are other click strategies, I believe. I, I haven't really paid attention to those. But the ones we want to focus on are the target CPA, target ROAS, ROAS, return on ad spend, and then maximize conversions, and then maximize conversion value. Okay, so maximize conversions... This just says, hey, for this budget, get as many conversions as we can. And then there's target CPA where it says, hey, let's get as many of them as we can, as many conversions. CPA stands for cost per action. It's fundamentally using a conversion event. Target CPA is let's get as many of those as we can at a consistent price. Okay, so now we're going to put like a limit, a budget on our actual conversions, and it works incredibly well. That's what this video is here. I'll link to this one below where I did a test of target CPA versus max conversions and seeing just how much we could control the budget. And uh, when you see this video and you watch it, you'll see that target CPA is incredibly, incredibly powerful. And in these campaigns, I'm not using really any keywords. We have a couple negative keywords in there, uh, like how to or DIY, because this is for a local home service company, think remodeling. So we have the negative keywords in there for the how to DIY, uh, materials, Home Depot. We have a few of those, but otherwise broad match, simply bath remodeling, kitchen remodeling, et cetera. Very broad match. And we're using the target CPA with that. And it did incredibly well over maximized conversions. And the point is I am using the smart bidding strategies and not the uh, clicks. Now, if you're doing something else, like let's just say that you're an e-commerce store you're an e-commerce store and you sell widgets. Well, return on ad spend would be what you want to use. The purchase happens right there online, so it's very easy. 
to get Google Ads set up to capture that purchase value as it happens. And then what you can do is you can set a target return on ad spend. You want that to be three for every $100 you spend on Google Ads, you better be seeing $300 in sales. Well, you can submit or you can set that to happen, okay? And then there is maximize conversion value. Now, this one I really, um, you know, don't see a ton of value with here. I guess I'll probably have to draw a little picto to, di to diagram this out. But let's just say, um, or maybe I don't have to do that. Let me just try to explain it here, right? Uh, let's just say you have different conversions in your account. Well, with maximized conversions, and what I recommend doing uh, is using the setting down here to where it says conversions, and then you select, I'm not gonna do this here, um, but uh, if you were to select this, you can target the conversion action that you wanted, right? Well, you could select multiple conversion values or multiple conversions, each with a different value assigned to them, and then optimize for that maximized conversion value. So for example, if you are a local home service business like I am, you could have a form on the page and you could have a phone call on the page, right? And you could have both those conversions running and you could say a phone call conversion value is worth $200 and a web form conversion value is only worth $25 or $50, et cetera, right? And then use that maximized conversion value to optimize to get the most uh, from anybody. Personally, I don't like doing that. I like having one clear defined conversion event on the page, the most valuable one uh, that we can get and just going for maximized conversion. So those are the smart bidding strategies. What are you guys doing out there? Now that Google Ads is kind of, you know, actively pursuing this trend of watering down the features, or I shouldn't say actively pursuing it, continuing it with it. What are you guys doing? What smart bidding strategy are you guys working towards or working towards using? Let me know in the comments below and going forward, look for a video that I'm going to do on conditional conversion events and progressing through Google ads to where you get to the smart bidding strategies. That's a wrap on this one, guys. I look forward to hearing your feedback in the comments. I'm signing off.